Team Sensei Brody here, super excited to be your online instructor. Before we get started today, as a reminder, make sure you got your full uniform on, belt tie nice and tight, gi pants, gi on, make sure it looks all good. Make sure we got some room around us to work in, a helper nearby if we need to have targets or pillows, because we have a lot of fun stuff we're going to do today. So I'll give you guys five seconds and then we'll get started. Five, four, three, two, and one. Natural stance team. Attention, say sir. Poor stance, fist cover. How are you guys doing today? Awesome. Bring your feet together and bow. Everybody relax, stance. Student creed, repeat after me. Say, to build true confidence. I must have knowledge in my mind, honesty in my heart, and strength in my body. Awesome. Team, let's get started by jogging right away. We'll keep our bodies moving. Everyone say focus. Focus is a really important thing to be a strong black belt. I need to make sure that my eyes are looking at who's talking. My ears are listening to who's talking. My body isn't fidgeting around with all these stuff moving around like this. I'm trying to focus on my body by jogging or sitting still. And my mind needs to focus by thinking about what we're doing. So everybody freeze, relax, dance. I'll give you a question. And I'd be thinking about, what's that over there? All the crazy stuff going around your house? Or should I be thinking about what we're doing right now at karate? Exactly, we're thinking about what we're doing here at action. Even though we might not be at action, our focus is still what we're doing right now. So let's get started. We'll need a pillow right away. The bigger, the better. And if you have a slammer bag, that works even more. So I'll give you guys five seconds. Grab a slammer bag or grab a pillow to help you out. Square hand targets can work with this too. Move my little weight and ass out of the way. Give me some more room. Awesome. Five seconds, team. Four, three, two, and one. All right, everybody relax, dance, and stay super still. Remember, we're talking about focus. So let's see who can stand the stillest and focus the best. So I'm going to start away from my slammer bag. I'm going to crab walk down to it. When I get there, I'm gonna do two axe kicks and I'm gonna shuffle back. Thumbs up, that makes sense. You can use as much room as you can as long as it's not too much room. We're not zigzagging around things. So let's do the first round together. Everybody back away from your pillow, slam back, whatever's over there to hit, and we're gonna get in crab position. So I'm gonna lock it up, I'm gonna move my legs out like this, my hands out here, and I'm gonna do, 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 make my way to the end. And as soon as I get there, I'm gonna stand up, Get my guarding stance and do two axe kicks, which we did last week, hitting with our heel on the target with an asa. Ready? Two axe kicks together as a T. One, asa, two, asa. Then I'll beat my feet a little bit and I'll shuffle back. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Awesome. Does that make sense, team? Thumbs up. Awesome works. So let's do it all together as a team. Everybody in crab position and we walk down. Stand up, getting our guardian stance ready, two axe kicks. One, asa, two, asa, and we shuffle on back. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. If you want to challenge, you can try doing a backwards crab walk, two. And da, 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 crab walk down, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, get my guardian stance, two axe kicks. Let's try our other leg now, switch your feet. Ready, one, asa, two, asa, and we shuffle on that, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. We'll do it two more times, ready? Grab off, I'll go normal, I like to see where I'm going. And stand up, two axe kicks, one, asa, two, asa, shuffle on that, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. One more time, team. Make my way to the bag, and stand up, and we'll do the other side now, two axe kicks. One, asa, two, asa, freeze. So now, everybody relax, dance. I'm gonna see who's focusing. We're gonna change a few things around. Instead of crab walking, we're gonna bear crawl. And the axe kick at the end, we're gonna do two kicks. An axe kick, then a front kick. And when we're done, we'll still shuffle back. So, let's see who was focusing. How are we gonna get down again? We have to bear crawl down. And we're doing two kicks at the end. It's an ax kick, and what are we adding to? We're adding a, a front kick. And the last thing is, how do we get back to the beginning? 
we shuffle. Let's try it together, team. Nice and easy. Ready? Let me start at the end. You're gonna bear crawl down. I only got a little bit of room to bear crawl, but you might have a little bit more room. Bear crawl. I get to the end. I get my guarding stance. Aya. I do two kicks. First, my axe kick. Soup. I reset, and then my front kick. Pasa. I have my weight master there, but you guys can just kick in the air super high. And then we'll do it one more time. Axe kick. Soup. Front kick. Pasa. Thumbs up. That makes sense. And then we shuffle back. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, team. Let's get started. Back to our, I guess, frog position to then crawl down. Crawl. All the way down. And stand up. We'll try our other side now. Left leg axe kick. Soup. Then left front kick. Asa. One more time. Axe kick. Soup. Front kick. Asa. And shuffle down. Shuffle. Ooh. And back to bear crawl. I get push up position. And I crawl all the way down. I stand up, now I'll do my right leg back. Ready? Axe kick, soup. Front kick, asa. Woo. One more time. Axe kick, soup. Front kick, asa. And I shuffle on down. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Two more times. Bear crawl. And up. And I switch my feet. Axe kick, soup. Front kick, asa. One more time. Axe kick, soup. Front kick, asa. And now, I'm back in my horse stance, and I shuffle on that. We got one more time, team. Ready? Let's do it. Nice and strong. Bear crawl. In my guarding stance. In my left guarding stance. I keep forgetting. Axe kick soup. Front kick asa. Axe kick soup. Front kick asa. And shuffle. And freeze. Relax stance. Your heart rate should be going a little bit, team. Like your body really moving. So let's take some deep breaths real quick. Not done yet. We got one last round. And I really want to see who's focusing. So relax, stand super strong. Not wiggling around like this. Standing with control of my body. Because remember, I want to have total concentration. Good work. So we're going to add on to it now. Instead of bear crawling, we're going to frog jump. And instead of just doing an axe kick and a front kick, we're going to do an axe kick, a front kick, and a side kick. Three kicks. Say, I can do that. Nice job. And then when we're done, we'll shuffle back. Thumbs up, that makes sense. Awesome. All right, let's see who was focusing. Hmm. How do we get down again? It's not a bear crawl, not a crab walk. It's a, a frog jump. We frog jump down. At the end, we do three kicks. We know it's an axe kick and a front kick, but we're adding a new kick. Who was focusing and can remember that? It was a side kick. We're doing all three of those kicks two times. Who's ready to get started? I think my hand's higher. Ooh, there we go. Let's get back over here. Okay, let's review. I'm in frog position. I want to channel my inner frog and try to go really high. I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. I can do one more. All right, I'm at my bag. First kick. Axe kick. I do my axe kick. Soup. Right after that, I do what? Front kick. Soup. And then one more kick. This one with my front leg. I need to make sure my guarding stance. Side kick. Lifting kick. Asa. And put it back down. One more time. Axe kick. Side kick. Front kick. Wait a minute. Axe kick. Then front kick. Then side kick. What's Mr. Bird doing today? Who's ready to get started? Let's do it. It's our last round. It's our best round here. Ready? Okay. Let's get started, team. Ready? Frog jump. One, two, three. Get that guard stance. Ay Axe kick, front kick, side kick. Ready? Go. Axe kick, front kick, side kick. And then one more time. Whoop. My bad. Axe kick, front kick, side kick. Four stance. Shuffle on down. Let's do it. We got three more times we can do it, team. Ready? Jump, one, two, three. In a left guarding stance now, axe kick, soup. Front kick, soup. That's a low front kick, side kick, asa. One more time, I gotta redeem myself. Axe kick, soup. Front kick, soup. There we go, side kick, asa. I shuffle. All right, team, two more, let's make it our best, ready? 
Jump. 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 In our guard. Axe kick. Front kick. Side kick. One more time. Axe kick. Down. Front kick. Out. Side kick. Fast side. One more round. Shovel back. Here we go. Big jumps. One, two, three. Aya. Axe kick. For one kick. Side kick. One more time. Axe kick. For one kick. Side kick. And relax stance. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Whew. Wonderful job. Everybody, lock it up. Hands on knees, back straight, making sure we're talking about focus. So we want to make sure our hands are on our knees, our back is straight, our eyes are forward, and our mind, even though we might be tired, we want to focus our mind up at the front. Because the next thing we're going to do is we get to go over not one, not two, but three. Three kicks. I'm so excited to do those three kicks today. Where are those three kicks? Those axe kicks, front kicks, and side kicks. We get to learn how to do every one of them today and do a fun drill too. Who's excited? I know I'm excited. Let's start off with our axe kick. So everybody stand up, tap on that right leg, put it back, hands up, say aya. Remember, we're gonna be doing three kicks. That's a lot of kicks. So we really need to focus so we know what to do for each kick. An axe kick hits with the heel of my foot. That's that big bumpy part at the bottom of my foot. I'm gonna hit with my heel today for this first kick. So reach over, tap on that right leg, bring it up a little bit off the ground, and just poke your heel gently on the ground. If you have a hard ground, I do recommend putting a pillow there so we don't hurt our foot. So ready, bring your foot up, and gentle touch. Put it back, and we'll say little asa, little asa. Put it back. Now we'll go a little, a little higher. Bring it up a little higher. Asa. And put it back. Okay. A little higher now. Bring it up higher. Asa. And put it back. Now, I want you to go as high as you can and bring it down, being careful not to hurt your foot. When I say go really high, say asa. Ready? Go. Asa. And reset. Nice. Let's do that four times. Ready? One. Asa. Two. Asa. Keep those hands up. Three. Asa. One more time. Four. Asa. Switch your beat. Say, aya. Awesome. Who can remind me? What should I be focusing on when I'm kicking? Should I be focusing on the sky? All around, all around me? Or my target? What do you think? Probably the target. That, might make, that probably would work the best. So, I'm going to take my left leg now. Little axe kick. Little asa. Lift it up. Asa. Higher now. Asa. A little higher now. A little louder now. Asa. Eat a little higher now. Ready? Asa. Now, as high as you can and hit really powerful. Still trying to be careful with our foot. Ready? Go. Asa. Nice job, team. Just like before, let's do four kicks. Ready? One. Asa. Two. Asa. Three. Asa. Four. Asa. Wonderful job. Everybody. Relax stance. So now you'll need a pillow or a target and you'll have to put it on the floor in front of you. Pillow or target. Right here. That's not really a comfortable pillow, but it's going to be a good target today. We are going to start. Actually, I'll give you three more seconds. Three, two, one. For this drill, we're going to focus with our eyes. So we'll do three axe kicks on our right leg, three on our left leg, then I'm going to do jumping jacks. When I do jumping jacks, you do jumping jacks. But if I do squats, you do squats. And Mr. Brody's going to zip his lips. So you have to really be focusing with your eyes because I'm not going to tell us when we're going to switch. So you have to focus. So if you're looking, you'll know when we're doing our squats. Tap on your right leg, put it back, say, aya. All righty. Three axe kicks on both sides. Ready? One. Asa. Two. Asa, three, asa, switch your beat, say aya. Left side now, ready? One, asa, 
two, asa, three, asa. All righty, have any tension, say sir. I'm not gonna say a word. And we're gonna do about 10 seconds of jumping jacks. If you guys are focusing, you'll know when I switch to squats. Big eye contact, ready? Let's get started. Back to your guarding stance. Oh, yeah, pretty good, team. We'll do the same thing one more time. Three axe kicks, three axe kicks, squats and jumping jacks. And we'll see if we're using those eye contact. Ready? And one. Asa. Two. Asa. Three. Asa. So we can beat say, ah, yeah. Ready? One on this side. One. Asa. Two. Asa. Three. Asa. All right? We're talking. Eyes on me. Let's see if you're focusing. And freeze. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Everybody relax, dance. Remember, what's that word we're talking about again today? Focus. Now, we're gonna go to our second kick. And our second kick is a front kick. We all know how to do a front kick, but it's good for us to remind ourselves how to do it with every little step, because who wants to be a black belt one day? I'd love to be a black belt one day. I need to know how to do a front kick really good. Tap on that right leg, put it back, hands up, say, ah yeah. All right. Four parts to a front kick. Let's go over it. Everybody say chamber. It's part one. Number two is to kick. Number three is to re-chamber. Number four is to put it back. Let's go over it really slow. Chamber, kick, re-chamber, away. And I don't want to look at the ground or at the ceiling. I want to look straight ahead at my target where I'm kicking or I'll miss. If I'm just looking off this way and I kick, oh, oh. I'm gonna miss my target. I have to look right at it. So I want you to look ahead, hands up by your face. Ready? On my go. We'll do a slow front kick. Ready? Go. Chamber, kick, re-chamber, away. We'll go a little faster now. Ready? Go. Chamber, kick, re-chamber, away. One more time, a little, little faster. Go. Chamber, kick, re-chamber, away. Now, let's put it all together with a big, powerful asa. Ready? Go. Asa. Go, asa, go, asa, and switch your feet, say, aya. Hands up, reach over, take that left leg now. Now our left leg comes up. Chamber, kick, reach chamber away. But we'll go slow first to really remind our body. Chamber, and kick, and reach chamber, and down. Chamber, kick, reach chamber, and down. And now we'll put it all together with a big, powerful asa. Four times, ready? One, asa, two, asa, three, asa, four, asa. Great job, team, relax, stance. The first drill we did with our ax kicks was using focus with our eyes. Now this drill is gonna use focus with our ears. If I say frog jumps, you have to do frog jumps. But if I say mountain climbers, you have to do mountain climbers. But Mr. Brody here isn't gonna move at all. I'm gonna stay here just like this. And I'm gonna give you guys about 15 seconds to do that exercise, okay? Let's start frog jump. So start in frog position, ready? I gotta stay here so I can see you focus with your ears. Frog jumps, go. Up and down, over and over again. Pretty good, pretty good. How about now, mountain climbers, go. Ooh, nice job, really run those feet. And now, frog jumps. Good job, team. Really try to go as quick as you can to those frog jumps. And how about mountain climbers? Ooh, that was pretty quick. Nice job, keep going. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Stand up, team. Great job, let's do those front kicks. Again, in that guarding stance, hands up, say, ah 
By the way, I forgot to mention, if you have a helper now, you can have your helper hold your target for you. So why don't I'll give you five seconds. If you got a helper with you today, you can grab them and they'll hold your target for you. If not, I'll be your helper. Because like I always say, I don't got no helpers with me. You could be my helper and do the kicks with me. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's get started. Three front kicks on both sides. Ready? And one. Asa, two. Asa, three. Asa, four. Asa, five. Asa, wait a minute. We're supposed to do three. And we did a bonus one. So to be safe, ah, yeah. We'll do five on this side too. We know how to do front kicks. One. Asa, two. Asa, three. Asa, four. Asa, five. Asa, more leg muscles working. Alrighty, we'll start with mountain climbers. I can't move. Push up position. Get those mountain climbers started. So go ahead, go. Keep going. A few more seconds. And how about some frog jumps? Go. Good job, team. Remember, I can't move at all. I want to see you focusing with your ears. Keep going. Frog jumps up and down and up and down. And how about mountain climbers? And how about frog jumps? And mountain climbers. And keep doing mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two, one. And stand up, team. One more round of those front kicks. Get your guarding stance. Aya. We'll do five this time. I promise we'll do five. Ready? One. Asa. Two. Asa. Three. Asa. Four. Asa. Five. Asa. So would you be saying aya? Five on this side. Ready? One. Asa. Two. Asa. Three. Asa, four, asa, five, asa. All righty, last round. Remember, Mr. Brody can't move. We'll start with frog jumps. Ready, go. Ooh, up and down, super high. Try to jump as high reach for that ceiling. And now we go to some mountain climbers, go. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, I love how you're going right in those push-up positions. Right in those legs, really fast. How about some frog jumps? Ooh, go and train this. You gotta go really fast to focus. And how about some jumping jacks? Ooh, where'd that come from? If we're focusing with our ears, then we just go right to those jumping jacks because sometimes it might be a different direction. And you guys can freeze and relax, dance. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Whew. We got one last kick every single. Yes! By the way, Mr. Brody loves this kick. We're doing a side kick now. Every say, side kick! So a side kick, First off, an axe kick hits with our heel. A front kick hits with the ball. And a side kick hits with the heel. But there's something different about it. My toes aren't pointed up. They're turned sideways. So we're gonna practice kicking off to the side first. Everyone just have your hands up, legs next to each other. We'll start with our right leg. Reach over, take your right leg, and point your knee at me, chamber. And put it back. Now point your knee at me again, say chamber. And put it back. So if we're using focus, I'm kicking that way. So I should look this way. I should look that way. So let's try that. Just take your heads, look at me first. Everyone take your chamber, say chamber. Ooh, and don't fall. And now look over to the right. Oh, our target's over there. Kick out, say awesome. Keep those toes sideways. Does that make sense? That's using our focus. Let's do it again. Take that leg, lift it up, say chamber, <gasps> look over, and kick. Asa! Good job, team. Let's do three on this side. Ready? One. Oh, and freeze real quick. We gotta go slow first. Almost forgot. Slow. One. Chamber, look. Asa. Two. Chamber, look. Asa. Three. Chamber, look. Asa, nice job. Ready? This side now. We'll go slow. I take the left leg, I lift it up, I look over to the left now. That's my target. I kick on my toes sideways. Asa, good job. Nice kicks, team. Ready? Three times. Slow. Ready? One. Chamber. Asa. Two. Chamber. Look. Asa. One more. Three. Chamber. Look. Awesome, great job everybody. Who's ready to get started with that drill? Good work. So now 
we have to use our eyes and our ears. So Mr. Brody is either going to say push-ups or he might say squats. So we'll have to go up and down too. So we have to be looking and listening, but I'll tell you a little secret. Sometimes Mr. Brody might not say when we're switching. So we have to really be using our eyes because who knows if he's going to switch and say it. <gasps> All righty, let's get started. Hands up. Three side kicks each side. We'll start with our right side. One. Asa. Two. Asa. Three. Asa. <gasps> three on this side. Ready? One. Asa. Woo, and don't fall down. Two. Asa. Three. Asa. All right. Push-ups and squats. We'll start with some squats first. Squat down and up. Keep going, team. Hands up by your face. Bend in those knees. Now let's go to some push-ups. Now to push-ups. Remember, we're not bending our hips. We're bending our elbows. I'll go down and up. And down and up. And really low and really high. Ooh, if you're using good focus in your eyes right now, <gasps> Mr. Brody switched to squats. Keep going, team. Really low. And how about now we go to some push-ups. Push-up position. We'll do three push-ups as a team. Ready? One, big push-up, back up. Two, big push-up, back up. And three, down. And everybody stand back up, team. Relax, dance. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. All righty. So now we're going to go to our lesson of the week, then our favorite part of class. Lock it up, team. Awesome. All right. Hands on knees, back straight, eyes focused, super, uh, super focused up at the front. Okay. For our lesson of the week, we are talking about a story about these two granddaughters who loved to hang out with their grandfather. Now, their grandfather was really good at archery, which is shooting a bow and arrow. So one day, when they were playing out into the fields, the grandfather was like, let's go practice how to use a bow and arrow. So they went out into the field, and while they were running around, chasing squirrels, picking up pine cones and sticks, the grandfather was putting up the two targets that they were gonna practice at. And he called them back, and the names were Lucy and Abigail. And when they called them back, he started with Lucy first. He said, all right, Lucy, here, hold the bow, hold the arrow, and pull back on the string. Now, I want you to focus on the target. And he says, okay, what do you see? And she says, I see a bird and a squirrel running around and all the trees in the back. And he goes, all right, just wait. And he looks over, he goes over to Abigail. He hands the bow, tells her to pull it back, and says, look at the target. And he says, Abigail, what do you see? She says, I see the center of the target. He says, good, now shoot. And the arrow went all the way across and it hit the target. Now team, why did Abigail's hit the target? Because she was doing what? <gasps> she was focusing on what she needed to do. She was supposed to focus on the target and she said she saw the target. And Lucy was looking around all a bunch of different stuff. So we wanna be just like Abigail, focusing on what we're doing. So if we are at home, we should be focused on, let's say if we're cleaning our, our room or doing our homework, we're gonna focus on that. Not the TV in the background or all the cars going around outside. Let's say if we're at school, do you think we should be focusing on playing with stuff on our desk or the teacher? We should focus on the teacher. And what about if we're here at action? What are we supposed to be focusing on here at action? The instructor and all the kicks we're doing in class, especially our favorite part, Ninja Power, which we're about to go to. All right, team, everybody stand up. Woo. Okay, so for the next part, we're doing kata. But Mr. Brody is so excited to do this next part because tournament's coming up. Everyone say tournament. Tournament has got to be one of my favorite events because we get to do the best kata, Ninja Power, for the judges and all the other sharks that go to some other action karate schools. They are going to be there to see us do our kata. The judges, they love this kata too, and they want to see you put on your best, most powerful routine ever. Who thinks they can do a powerful job? <gasps> of course. And team, is it okay if I'm a little nervous? Every give me two thumbs up and say, yes, sir. Mr. Brody's always nervous, but I keep my back straight, take a deep breath, and I do my kata, just like I learned at karate, just like we did here at action, because we're going to put on the best performance we got. Thumbs up, that makes sense? It's all about having fun. So let's do it. 
Everybody, take a big step back and lock it up. Let's say, oh, I'm so far back. Let's say we're waiting for our turn to go. The judges call our name. We quick stand up. We'll bow. Let's walk up to the judges so they can hear us, because right now we're a little far away. We'll walk up to the judges. Da, 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 da. Not too far though, right about here should be good. And I'll go into natural stance. Now the judges can see and hear me. So I'm gonna do my introduction and introduce myself. I'm gonna say, and you all want you to repeat after me, say, judges, my name is, say your name, say, I go to, say, action, karate, and the school you go to, say, judges, may I please begin? And the judges are so kind, they'll say, yes, you may. You will say, thank you, judges. Eyes focused on them. Now, you might be a little close to the judges, so let's just take one big step back. Big step back. There we go. I got so, oh, so much more room now. And then we do our kata. Action kata. Ninja power. Bow. Poor stance. Up. In. Out. Touch. Down. Back. Asa. Get in that guardian stance. Say, aya. Jab. Cross. Right kick, feet together, big bow, say team, ninja sharks, rock. With the best part? Oh yeah. Give yourself a pat on the back. Great job, team. And everybody, lock it up. <laughs> Wonderful work. So team, that's the kind that we'll be doing at tournament, which I'm so excited for. I hope to see you there as well. <laughs> Families out there. If you can hear me, and sharks as well, a few announcements. Our homework is to do those three kicks. Axe kick, front kick, and side kick. Three times each kick, each side. Really work on both those leg muscles. Then, our finisher we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a little bit of a at-home homework to do with your family. And it's probably one of the best games we got. I'm gonna teach you how to do a back knuckle, and then we'll be all good, so when I We'll, we'll first do the, uh, the back knuckle, then we'll bow us out. And after we say ABC, uh, definitely have a chance to play this game. It's super fun. Everyone stand up. All righty, tap on your right leg, put it back, say, aya. Let's do that back knuckle punch. Everybody wiggle your front hand. Give me a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Take your thumb, put it right next to you. And I want you to bend your hand in and open the door and close the door. Open the door, close the door. Open the door, close the door. So you're going to go. Awesome, really fast, just like that. Thumbs up, that makes sense. Awesome, when I say go, say asa. Ready, go, asa, go, asa, go, asa. One more time, go, asa. Pretty good, everybody relax, dance. So now, when I say ABC, if you have a ball that you can play with at home, you and your family, if it's nice outside, can do this outside, a little safer parents out there, and they have to toss the ball to you, and you have to back knuckle it before it hits you in the nose and say, Asa! And you can do that a few times and that is your finisher to do at home. Thumbs up, that makes sense. Great job, team. Natural stance. Attention, say, sir. Everybody relax, dance. Do you have fun today, team? Awesome, repeat after me. Probably say, we are a black belt school. We're dedicated. We're motivated. We're on a quest to be our best. Bring your feet together, big bow. Hand back, every say, action. Shake your hands. If you can hear me out there, shake those hands. Start clapping. <laughs> and say yes, 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 y